This is a tutorial on how to install Wi-Fi tethering for the Galaxy Note 2. Now I've tried this for the AT&T and Verizon Galaxy Note 2's uh, but I'm sure that it'll work for the others. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and root your device because Wi-Fi tethering mod requires root. The next step is, in to, is to install BusyBox. So this is BusyBox free by Sterickson. You may have different options just as long as you install it, it'll be fine. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and install the Wi-Fi Tether Trev E mod, which I'll pro provide a link for in the description. Now if you try this initially, it will not start. Or it will start, but it'll start with errors here. And it won't show up or connect on your computer. See there, the errors. So what we want to do, after we stop the tethering, we're going to go into the settings, and we're going to set up these settings. If you don't put each one of these in here, it will not work. These settings are courtesy of XDA developer user DCD Goth. First thing we're going to do is go into the device profile and change that to generic ICS JB. Next step is to go into the setup method under NetDC NDC master and select that. Third, we're going to check the SIN NetD max client CMD. Then we're going to check both the Wi-Fi driver and the Wi-Fi driver reload 2. Then we're going to check the keep alive connection check. And last, we're going to check the routing fix or ensure that that's checked. After you do that, you can exit out of there. Tap start tethering. Give it a second to start. Then we'll go to our computer. And as you see, Android Tether does, does show up. Connect to it. And we are connected. Next, we'll go to our web browser here and try to load a website. Now, my connection is a little slow in my area, but we are loading here. There you go. That's all you need. And just to verify, we are still connected to Android Tether. All right. If you have any questions, Post them under and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching.